When you give a presentation, are you falling into the trap of making your audiences think too much? Here's what I mean. Recently, some fellow coaches and I were helping one of our clients work on a keynote speech, specifically one story in that talk. It's a captivating story about how she was able to lose a tremendous amount of weight. And one of the ways she did that is she went on TV to appear on one of those big weight loss programs. Well, the star of that show is a gentleman named John Cena. In the original version of her talk, she mentioned John Cena and then went right on speaking. One of the pieces of feedback we gave her was, Lisa, not everybody knows who John Cena is. So when you mention someone's name like that, if the audience isn't familiar with it, they're going to get stuck. You're going to make them start thinking. Some people in the audience may have thoughts like this. John Cena, hmm, no idea. Or, I think I've heard of him. Isn't he a football, maybe, maybe he's a wrestler, I, I don't know. Or, is he an actor? What we had to help Lisa understand was that when you mention a name of someone and people in the audience don't know who it is, they get stopped in their thoughts. Meaning, they're going to go down this track of thinking, okay, well, who is that person? I don't know who it is, why is it relevant? And they will not hear the next few sentences, if not just completely check out of your speech. So when I ask you, are you making your audiences think too much, that's what I mean. One of the challenges we have as speakers is something called the curse of knowledge. That's when you know something so well that you assume everybody else does. We can't do that. So as you're developing your talk and you're getting evaluations, ask your audience, is there any part of this talk where you stopped and had to think too much? Was it the name of a person? Was it some confusing statistics or numbers? Anything that you say that is causing the audience to stop and think is a roadblock to them hearing your message. So be willing to have the courage to ask your evaluators or any audience member who's willing to give you feedback, did I make you stop and think? If so, you need to create clarity or take that part of your message out. I look forward to seeing you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.